How's it going everybody? David here with solopowermyrv.com and today I just want to give you guys a quick tour of this Class C Jayco Melbourne solar system that we just installed. So we wanted to max out the roof with solar on this one so we ended up being able to fit 700 watts of solar which is two of these 200 watt rich solar panels and then three of these 100 watt rich solar panels. We relocated the new lithium batteries from under the steps into the side compartment. They wouldn't fit under the steps, first of all, and second of all, they weren't very weatherproof there. So we installed 400 amp hours of lithium batteries, which is two of these 200 amp hour batteries. These are low temperature batteries. They also have internal Bluetooth battery monitors. These two batteries are about the equivalent of eight to 10 standard lead acid RV batteries. These have a 10 year warranty and we've installed thousands of these over the years without any issues. Even if you don't get an inverter or a solar system, just upgrading your batteries is a great investment. So we installed the Victron MultiPlus 3000 here. This is a whole house inverter, which means it powers everything in the RV from the batteries, including all of the outlets, your microwave, your air conditioner, and everything that would normally be powered by shore power is now powered by lithium batteries and the inverter. This inverter is also a huge battery charger, so when you're on shore power or generator, it'll charge your lithium batteries at a very fast rate. One of the coolest features that's unique to these lithium batteries versus most batteries on the market is this internal battery monitor. This battery monitor is in each separate battery and it'll tell you exactly what's going on with that particular battery. So it'll tell you the voltage, the state of charge, the capacity, the health, and the status of that particular battery. This is great when troubleshooting your system because you can always tell if it's a battery issue or if it's another issue in the system. One cool feature about this app is it'll also tell you the battery management system information. So if there's any issues that cause the battery to turn off, like if it was a high voltage or low voltage or high temperature or low temperature, it'll tell you here what was the issue. So it's very easy to identify what's going on. And if you look here at the bottom, it'll also tell you the internal cell voltages on each cell inside the battery. This is also another screen on the app. This will tell you even more information here like how much amps are going in and out the battery at this particular moment. It'll show you the temperature of the inside of the battery. And most importantly, it'll show you the cycles on this battery. You can see down here, we have one cycle on it. And these batteries are rated to go three to 5,000 cycles. Moving on to the inside, this is where we install the touchscreen monitor. This is the Victron Serbo GX Touch 50 monitor. And this is gonna tell you about all the components in your system and where all the power is going in your system. So you can see here right now we're running the generator. So we have the shore power here that's providing 1,677 watts. And then the inverter is in bulk charging mode. So it's charging as much as it can. And then we have your AC loads and your DC power at the bottom. That's how much power we're using. And then we have the solar power bringing in 73 watts. And then on the left side is your battery information which we're at 45% and we're bringing about 75 amps per hour. Since this is a motor home, we also have alternator charging. So we turn on the vehicle here and if you look at the monitor, you'll see down at the battery information on in the bottom left corner, it says 2380 watts or 173.6A. That's how much power is going into the battery per hour. And that's from the shore power the alternator power and the solar power all charging at the same time. 